Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about angular routing. Why uh, this is important while you are designing and coding angular project. Please do subscribe this channel so you get in-depth analysis of important features and core understanding of different languages and frameworks. So in an angular single page application, to handle the navigation from one particular view to another view, we use Angular Router. Angular Router actually takes the browser URL and from there it tries to interpret the instruction for changing the view. What does it mean? That it takes the browser URL and there is a pattern for uh, browser URL, right? So from there, it takes the pattern and then based on that pattern, it tries to load the component into the view. Interestingly, it won't call the server side for each of the view to load. You can design your application in a way the server side call can be uh, determined, can be uh, manipulated in a way like it won't call every time into the server to change the view because the page load the view load is not dependent on the return of the server but the availability of the component so you can have few components in your application already there and then based on the router based on the routing pattern you can load and hide the component from the view and the component is kind of a representative of data and other operation to the view. So if the component is available, then it will load the view immediately. You don't wait for the other responses to come. And you can uh, easily design your component in a way if it is waiting for other data to come or other component to load, then that can be easily uh, micromanaged for each of the view components. So Angular Router actually giving us the flexibility to manage each of the view to uh, handle uh, more efficiently, more elegantly. Now I'm going to code some of the important features of Angular Routing. I will fast forward the coding session and then I'll pause, I'll explain and then again I'll code. In that way, I will try to explain uh, most of the important features of angular routing here just like all the other videos where i code i uh, usually put the code in my github page so you just visit there get the code and then you can explore it as well anytime you want if you have found some value in this video please do share this video and uh, like this content if you uh, uh, interact with me it will be really encouraging for further work in this channel so please do write some comments and to interact yeah before uh, starting coding for the routing part i have uh, included the bootstrap in this project so you can like at least uh, look wise it will be a bit better how to add bootstrap in your uh, angular application i will add the video link in the description let's get to the point now so in this project what i tried I, there will be three different menu items and clicking on that it will load the different components which will have the template itself and it will load there so without calling any server side or any where else you'll have three components in your project itself which is already loaded in your application and you just uh, click on the different menu item and then it will load the component and their corresponding views so that is the first thing we are going to do using the router so how the changing of url will manipulate the loading of component is the particular thing we can concentrate in this part First, I'll talk about this index.html page where we can mention the base reference for the application. So what that what does it do? It actually, uh, when you visit the default 
uh, path of your application that time it will load uh, the first default component in your application so uh, this is generated by angular cli this is auto generated so default path is the root one like there is no extra url entry here so for example this is the default url here uh, localhost localhost colon 4200 slash nothing and then it will load the application to load the application it will use the application root uh, as it is mentioned uh, this component so this is actually uh, app inside the app folder and which is this uh, app component this is the application root so it by default it is it is loading this but you can change the default url which which can be like uh, something dot com slash home or something else that also can be possible if you uh, want to manipulate or change this one Now let's jump into the uh, uh, like application. So here you can see like I have three menu items, dashboard, inventory, and orders. I uh, did code in a way like I click one and then left side panel will be as it is, which is the uh, sidebar. And this content, this part where you're seeing the orders and the blank page, this is actually going to be uh, changed based on the you can see yeah based on the url so i'm changing the url after clicking on this actually this is changing to uh, the url and also based on this url it is changing the view so router is uh, acting on this let me explain how i am doing this okay first uh, let me visit the app routing page here i have created three paths okay three routes uh one is default which is having no entry and the component for that is dashboard component so if you visit the default url it will show the dashboard default and then uh, if you go to the slash inventory then it will uh, take responsibility of the inventory component and after that if you slash order then it will uh, the component order component will load so this is configured here uh, this is very simple stuff i just had to give the path and then mention the component name and then uh, for each of the component i have written some of the html so only the name of the like uh, only the name of what i'm visiting what page i'm visiting so it is just printing that I can add some more information here and then based on the routing pattern it will show that information as well so this is a cool dashboard right so now you can see if we click on the dashboard it will show this is a cool dashboard probably I can bring this here how the click is changing the uh, url so that part to understand i am visiting this uh, default page where i am actually configuring the left side panel and also i'm configuring uh, the load like router outlet where the uh, url will act to change the view of the content what does that mean like in the router outlet the new component will be unload and load based on the url so this is the page where i have mentioned the sidebar right and for each sidebar you can see i have mentioned the router link here so this router link actually uh, if you click on this for example uh, click on this inventory then this router link will add append a slash inventory into the url so this is uh, changing the url this is responsible for that and this router outlet if we mention here then what it is doing it is actually taking the url the uh, routing process is taking the url from here from the browser and uh, like 
based on the URL, it is loading the component into this router outlet port. Simple, right? This part I'll show how to handle all those different URLs uh, into the project which are not mentioned anywhere in the routing. Here using wildcard routes I can mention whatever not present in the my routing directory it will fall into this and using this I can show like whatever message I want to show because the, those routes are not present so I want to show probably 404 not found kind of message. So I created that I create add this path which is double star that means which were not falling into this uh, list of paths and I assigned the component called page not found component. So there I have just mentioned uh, 404 page not found you can add some design there and anything else and uh, let's see this into action and it will show 404 not found yeah router redirection is easy to do here i'll add one more uh one more entry to the route mentioning uh two extra parameters called redirect to where i have i'll i'll mention like where to redirect so, so i'll mention the any any other paths which is existing in the routes and second i'll mention path match so where it will uh, match the entire path or not so i have mentioned here ordr as a path and it will redirect to order page so let's see the result so this is redirecting from ordr to order Here I am coding for accessing the query parameters and fragments and also I am going to send the query parameter from one URL of one particular page using URL. So that I am coding first and then I will uh, explain it how this whole things are working together. using uh, link parameter array we can pass some data to the uh, url and from there to the component actually so how we can do that so you can see here uh, i am adding the router details path with some extra data that is the order id this content is actually coming from the ts file here i have added this number so this can be dynamically coming from the component and it will be added to this uh, uh, this path and this information is kind of dynamic right now because it is not the order id it is the value of order id i am sending and uh, in the route file if you see there is a specific way so here i have added one more colon parameter this is the variable so this is actually the router information so this can be collected from the uh, uh, component page right so this is the component app uh, order details component let me visit there so how to collect this information so this is kind of you can see like in the browser uh, something slash then a value for example item slash item id item slash three now you have to receive the three and further operate on top of that in that component. For example, I'm sending the order ID here and in the order details page, I'm collecting that using activated route. So this is uh, given by Angular router uh, package. So from there, I have collected the activated route and using activated route, I can fetch the uh, order ID which is the URL parameter so URL parameter I can achieve uh, using activated route and from there I, right now I am printing that in the console only and also printing it in the HTML but thing is that you can use this information to fetch the data from the server and manipulate on top of that and then show some view on the UI 
based on that information so everything you can do so this is uh, like collecting that information from uh, uh, the like the URL and from there it is uh, using that so let's see so I'm clicking on the order details now and you can see I have passed this value in the URL and from URL it collected and printing in the uh, browser so if you see in the inspect it will print into the console as well as I have printed there and now the thing is that you can change this URL value to something else and that will also print because that information is being collected into this order details component so this way we can pass the data to the browser URL and from there like from the browser URL we can collect any URL parameter uh, into the component Sometimes in the browser URL, representing one component won't be enough because you wanted to uh, visit one component inside that component, there could be one child component. Inside that child component, there can be another component. So this complex relationship could be there to, represent, to be represented using the router. So uh, that is possible here using the uh, nested routing. So let's explain that. Here I am using nesting routes for angular routing and to explain that I am going to show you this. So okay, so the, if you want to achieve a URL path which is not very simple, which is very complex from uh, in terms of like parent children connection between components, then you can use uh, this way like uh, this is the parent component and for each parent component you can pass the children component as well for example this order sub uh, order sub component has a url pattern called order sub and for like when you are inside this order sub component and you want to achieve one more component add one more component inside that so how i am doing that i am adding one more a parameter which is called children and this is this is an array so here i can pass multiple other uh, like sub components uh, with some url so the url will in this time url will look like order sub slash order address so this particular object is similar to this one so all the configuration uh, it can support it will support as well so it is just a like uh, uh, in, it is just behaving inside this component only so how i am accessing that component let me show you so this already you have some knowledge of just uh, i am visiting this order sub and inside that i am adding router outlet so this the second component which will reside inside this component will uh, that component's template will replace this value and this way it will uh, like append the children of um, that component inside this component here you can see i am visiting order finalization component and inside that uh, it is just a root component and if i want one more uh, entry inside this component i'll, I'll put down the and then Okay, inside this order address will come and also if you can enter the other order payment, other URL, then it will show the order payment. So this is the component and this is the sub component. So this is uh, the example of nested routing. Thank you so much for your time and happy learning.